So uh, the, the big one, uh, almost the only one, but, but the main hormone treatment that guys would get would be testosterone for low testosterone. Um, it is available in many different formulations, uh, both uh, which can be fit to both sort of your goals and, and lifestyle. Um, and so the important ones to remember uh, are um, injections. That's kind of the one of the mainstays. So this is a, a testosterone that you inject either weekly uh, at home on your own or um, a long-acting injection uh, that's every 12 weeks that you come into clinic for. Uh, that's a, a, a big one. Uh, the second uh, one is uh, gels or creams that you apply usually to your arms or underarms. Uh, you do that every day, um, and that's an option. Uh, not necessarily the best option for people who have uh, children, uh, babies, or women um, in their families because you don't want to get that cream on them and give them testosterone. Um, another option that I'm a big fan of is something called Testapel. So these are tiny little pellets about the size of a grain of rice. Um, that we put in uh, the fat of your butt uh, through a small needle. You come in uh, for, to clinic for that, and you only have to have those put in usually on average about every three months, and you don't have to worry about any other treatments. Um, so this is similar to uh, what a lot of women do for birth control, I think, with the Nexplon de device, um, though that actually lasts for years. Unfortunately, ours don't. You still have to come in uh, every several months, but it, it can be pretty convenient where you don't have to worry about needles or putting medication on every day. Uh, the last common option uh, is a new oral medication. So classically, oral medications uh, for testosterone did not work because uh, testosterone is not absorbed through the GI tract. Uh, these new ones are absorbed in a new kind of novel way, um, which also makes them expensive and usually not covered by insurance, uh, but that is an option and it's a pill that you take twice a day. Um, and that can be used, uh, like I said, uh, instead of some of the other options that we have.